Many people think that the start-stop button to start the engine helps save fuel, others argue that this is impossible and the button only replaces the familiar ignition switch with a rotary key and does not affect fuel economy in any way. It turns out that both of them are right, but the whole point of this confusing story is due to the fact that both the start-stop button and the start-stop system receive the same name. The button only starts the engine when the driver presses it, and the start-stop system independently turns off the engine during a stop, and starts it when the driver takes his foot off the brake pedal, for example, before a traffic light. This system helps save up to 10% fuel. Today, a similar system is found on most modern cars, but it was invented by Japanese engineers. The first experiments to create such a system were undertaken by Toyota in the mid-1970s, installing a device on its luxury crown model that turns off the engine after one. Five seconds of inactivity. At first glance, the start-stop system seems useful, but if you look at it, saving fuel with the help of such a system is much more expensive than the cost of fuel that would be burned without this system. The thing is that when the engine starts, there is an increased load on the bearings, gears, generator and starter, which have a reduced service life due to the constant starting of the engine. In general, this system has both positive and negative sides, and it is up to everyone to decide whether to use it. Write your comments, what do you think about this system and do you turn it on on your car?